Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to be doing invoicing automations. So I'm going to show you my whole invoicing automation workflow, which basically helps you manage all your Stripe invoices inside of Airtable. And it basically automates that whole process of managing those invoices and you get to do it in a single place or just, you know, you create an invoice, you update an invoice and it will be automatically updated on Airtable with that same data and you know you can send notifications to your team or whatever you want but i'm going to show you how to set this up and this is the part one of the crm mode but we're building inside of your table which pretty much automated crm yeah if you're if you use stripe invoices or other kind of invoices this is definitely a video you must watch in order to help you you know streamline your, your invoicing process if you want the the templates and the in the workflows down below in the description they're all for free. You just need to submit your email and yeah, sign up with the affiliate links. You know, that helps a lot. And uh, let's go to the tutorial. Okay, everyone, here we are on the computer. As you can see, this is the mirror board I created, which basically has everything we, we need to like understand the basics of this automation. Okay. So this automates search table when invoice is created, paid, sent, or failed. So it connects to make that common storage information inside your CRM. All you need. If you constantly manage invoices and payments for your online businesses, especially when you have multiple employees at different levels, so they don't have access to Stripe, this is super key. Getting updates on it, sending Slack notifications, sending emails, whatever, automatically when an invoice is paid, updated, whatever. Okay. So as you can see, this is an example. You know, this is generated automatically when you create an invoice, when you update an invoice, whatever. Okay. This is all updated inside Airtable. Okay, so let's go and let's generate an example invoice so that you can see how this relates and how this actually um, works inside of my, my workflow, right? So I'm gonna create an invoice in my Stripe accounts. Let's create an invoice for Alex Thompson. Let's say we're about to charge him some money. Let's add uh, Alex Thompson, here's our customer. Let's say we're about to charge him, let's say, now we want to charge him and we want to actually see what happens after we send that invoice, right? Which is that what this is basically for. So yeah, let's create an invoice. And as soon as you create an invoice, as you can see right here, the, the, the workflow is going to detect that and it's going to create that new invoice as a draft. As you can see, I haven't put anything in a draft and that's why it's a zero. Everything is zero, but yeah. Let's say I create, create an invoice, I did a one-time item, let's say uh, product price, let's set this at 500, 5,000, whatever. Um, payments, you know, we select this for due date for tomorrow, auto charge customer, delivery, et cetera, et cetera. All right, cool. Now we review the invoice and we send the invoice. Okay, now we sent the invoice you know, it's an invoice for 5,000. So as you can see, invoice status automatically, you know, sign this open, which means it's sent to the customer. Let's say I, the, the, the client pays the invoice, right? Uh, so client change invoice status and let's say it's paid. This is just a test. That's why I'm using the, the test data. So real money won't be charged. So let's say it's paid. It updates to paid and he automatically becomes a client. And as you can see, the pay date is today. So this is basically what this, what this video is going to be showing you how to do of this. Of course, we've done a lot, a lot, a lot more than this, but this is just like a basic, you know, invoice manager type workflow. And if you want to see more complex stuff, let me know. Okay, with that clear on what we are about to do here on the invoice workflow, let's go and jump in and I'm going to show you how to create this invoicing workflow step by step. Okay. Okay. The first thing you will need is actually going to be a new complete CRM table, which I like to call it that way, but you need to copy the fields I'm about to show you. And first you need to create a table for the contacts, the companies and the invoices. The invoices is the most important in this video. But the context is also very important and the companies without the companies and the contacts, we couldn't do this whole thing. Okay. 
So for, for first you need the name of the person, then you need the Stripe customer ID, which you will personally, this is the only thing you will personally fill this out. You know, you need the email, you need the phone of the person, you need the status, which I let, what, you don't actually need the status, but I like to use it because um, we're also going to be building more stuff on this later on in the next couple of videos of this CRM. So yeah, you need the status, uh, you know, if you want, uh, I usually add notes to these kind of tables, you know, to reference what kind of client it is, what are we offering for them, stuff like that. You need the companies, uh, you know, linked field, what kind of company, and you need the invoices, which is all going to be linked later. So you can create a, f and a few examples here, the name, the customer you need. And so you have the companies, you know, you need the name, the clients, as as you saw here, it's a linked record. So you all you put in here, let's say you linked it to a contact, this, it will appear here on the company. So yeah, you know the industry, this is just an example. You can add pretty much whatever you want here, but these are the just uh, fundamental. Okay, now as for the invoice, for the name, you're not gonna add a name. You're actually gonna create a sort of ID for the invoice, which is gonna be for the formula internal invoice ID. Just gonna be pretty simple formula. You know, you're gonna contact email, uh, contact invoice status, and invoice total. And contact email, it's gonna be client's email, not contact. Client email, uh, invoice status, and invoice total. So once you select done, you confirm the change. And as you can see, this is a formula. So if the client has an email, it's gonna appear here, then the invoice status and whatever. So this is gonna be changing. So now for the next one, you need the invoice, Stripe invoice ID. This is super necessary and it's crucial for this automation. Now you need the invoice total, which is just basically a currency, also currency fees make sure to allow negative numbers because this will be a negative number, especially if it's a fee, you know, pay date. Um, pay date is just a normal date. Start date is just a normal date. Due date is just a normal date. Invoice status, this is super crucial. You copy this by the book. So you set this to draft, paid, open, or void. You can choose whatever colors you want. That doesn't actually matter, but yeah. Choose any of these and click save and let's keep going. Okay, you will need client name, which is just a look of field, client phone, also a look of field, client email, just a look of field, and company, just a look of field. This is just for reference. And yeah, let's go on and create an example. Um, but yeah, this is basically all you need as of for Airtable. You don't need to set anything up that is not here on Airtable. As you can see in the automations, we don't have nothing set up because it's not necessary. If you, of course, you can do a lot of things with the automations here of Airtable. But for this use case, we're not going to use the automation inside of Airtable. We're actually just going to use the make.com ones. Okay. So how, how can you actually set this module up so that you are, you know, receiving updates constantly on the invoices that are being created right here? based on your customers. Okay, so the first step is going to be, you know, setting up the, the trigger the on the Stripe um, trigger, which is going to be a webhook, Stripe webhook. So you're just going to create a watch events and I'm going to guide you through everything. So I'm going to create a new one. So Stripe watch events, you know, at, at a webhook and you're just going to connect your Stripe account, you know, your test key and new webhooks. It is going to click when it where it says groups, you're going to click um, invoice. And where it says invoices, you're going to click invoice, void it, invoice sent, invoice paid. And in, in, invoice created, invoice paid, invoice sent, invoice voided. Okay, and that's pretty much it. You you click add, and now you have your your webhook set up. Okay, now you click OK, and now every time uh, you know an invoice is paid or created, um, 
or whenever we select it, this is this webhook is going to be triggered and it's going to be activated. Okay, so let's test this out. Let's go to Stripe and let's actually, you know, create an invoice, add a customer, or no, not add a customer, but you know, just create an invoice for let's say this person. As you can see, it's triggered and invoice dot created. Of course. Now what we need to do is we need to set the different routes and different um, different filters for for the automation to go. So when it's created invoice, it's going to go over here. When it's paid, the invoice is going to be over here. When it's open invoice, it's going to go over here. And it's when it's void invoice, is going to go over here. So we need to set this up in different paths so that the automation knows where to actually go. And how do we do this through filters? Okay, so we create all of these. And what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to create an air table and we're going to search records. Okay. We're going to search records and we're going to, we're going to search for the record that's in the name of the stripe. Okay. And for this, we need to actually create an, a few examples of this so that we have a better idea on how this actually works. So I'll create a few examples. Let's say Alex. Alex G and we create that customer over here in Stripe. Let's just use Alex G for now. Okay. Um, customers, let's add a customer. Alex G. Alex G. Dot. Yeah, as you can see, Alex G. Okay. It's right here. We just need to copy the customer ID and we need to put it over here. This is super crucial and this will work. I will show you later why. Okay. It's super crucial. You do this and once you create a new customer, you actually add it as a local field. I forgot to tell you. Okay. But yeah. You have your contact with your Stripe customer ID and you know your company, your invoice. The invoice doesn't ha really have to be uh, set up yet, but you know you can add a company, let's say Tesla. Okay, now you set up your customer. This is pretty manual, of course, because you're this is still a CRM and you ha you need to have control over your payments. And of course, a person is going to be doing this as well. So yeah, once you set this example customer up. Um, we're actually gonna we're actually gonna keep uh, building this setup okay so first mm, we're gonna set up the filters I forgot to set up the filters so this filter is gonna be when create invoice create invoice condition it's when you go down and you click the variable type invoice dot creator and you said that text operators equals to invoice dot created and that's pretty much it you set up the filter so that every time the invoice is created so that every time you create an invoice it will go through here now we're going to set it up so that every time you pay an invoice it will go through here paid invoice condition invoice not paid. Yeah, it's like this, right? Yeah, so invoice that paid is for the, the paid invoice. Now it open invoice, it's going to be invoice dot sent. Okay. It will set up a filter invoice dot sent and the condition is of course going to be the type wrap webhook data type text operators equals to invoice dot sent. Open invoice. Just click OK and do this for every single one invoice that voided as you can see right here um, will take you to the voided branch just add the variable and the title voided invoice okay now that we've set up the filters uh, we're ready to to plug and play okay now we're gonna search records on all of these and I'm actually going to help you set up these two because these are different from these. 
So yeah, first we're gonna go through the creative invoice and you're just gonna go over and select your your table, which is complete CRM in this case, and the table is gonna be, uh, in this case, contacts. Why contacts? I'm gonna explain you right now, okay? So first, the number th one thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click output fields and you're gonna click the Stripe customer ID. Once you select the Stripe customer ID, you're gonna go to the formula and I have the formula right here. Oh. Um, and you're gonna go over here and copy this formula, Stripe customer ID equals customer, object customer. And this is the customer ID you're getting from the Stripe you just created. So it will identify what customer it is and it will link that to the invoice, which is pretty, pretty helpful. And that's why I need to explain this to you um, right now. And it's gonna be different for this to every single one of these because in every single one of these, you already have the name linked to the invoice with the with the customer ID. So you don't, won't really be uh, looking up based on the context that you'll be looking up based more in the invoice id number okay so you click okay and you know you create a record right here and for to create a record you, this is the only step you'll be creating a record because down below you, you will just be updating the record as you can see when you create the invoice it creates a new like a new row for the table but when you create but when you pay that invoice, it doesn't create a new row. It just updates the, the, the table. Okay. So just click your CRM and the table just invoices. And this is going to be, yeah, creating a new, a new table over here at invoices. And we're going to be setting that up in a few moments, but right now we need to set this up first. Okay. So you, you will be searching up records, but now in the invoice. Part, okay, so you'll be um, in the complete CRM table. You select invoices table, and the uh, up output fields will be in this case the Stripe invoice ID. This is super important, and you'll see why. And now you click limit to one, and you know you're gonna copy the formula I'm about to give you Stripe invoice ID, and this is the same for the three. Okay, so you're gonna click OK. I'm going to copy the formula from above so that I'm not going back and forth, which I, that's what I'm doing right now. But okay, just Stripe invoice ID or whatever is the title input. So you're going to select Stripe invoice ID and then the columns and you're going to click the, the button that says object or no, actually the, the where it says ID. Okay, object ID. And that's pretty much it. When you're done, you click OK. And you're pretty much done with this. You're almost done. OK. Once you're done with this, with setting up the these two, now you can just actually clone this module. Go over here, clone this module. And go over here, clone this module. Should I delete this? OK, once you do this, you'll have the four modules ready. And we'll just need to update the records, you know, send Stripe, send Slack messages and all that sort of stuff. But we basically have set up half of the automation already. Okay. Right here, you will just create a update a record and send a Slack message, you know, to let the team know when the invoice is paid or whatever you want. If you want to send an email here, this is pretty much very customizable. Okay, so I want to send a message to a channel, uh, create a message, and yeah, okay, that's what I'm going to do for there. And let's actually set up the, the what this is, information is going to be like, okay. So first, we're going to, when an invoice is created, we're going to search a record and we're going to link it over to with the context. So client name is going to be record ID 1, and this is actually going to be the ID of the of the record we just searched for. Okay, so record ID number one, and this is gonna create the linked field I was talking to you about. Okay. Straight invoice ID 
we can just go ahead and click here. This is super important invoice total. This is not going to be set up yet because remember, this is when you're just creating it. And we're just going to fill this out later when you actually send an invoice. So the fees, not as well. The pay dates, it's going to be. Pay date is not going to be filled out here. The invoice status is going to be draft. The sent date is not going to be filled right here. The due date, not here. And basically just that. For now, you click OK, and now you have it set up, OK? Now, search records, um, and you're going to update the record, of course. And in your complete CRM, you're going to update this on your invoices tab. OK, when an invoice is paid, what do we want to update? Um, the record ID is going to be right here. We're not going to put the uh, invoice ID because we already do, did that. We're not going to put the invoice total because we already did that. We're just going to put the pay date, which is the date. She'll go to now, timestamp and now, because that's the time the, the automation ran when it's paid. And you're going to go to invoice status. You're going to click paid. You're going to set date. This is not important because it's going to be sent. Uh, it's going to be modified on the set email, on the sent module. So. Just ignore this, ignore this, ignore this, because it's going to be already set up. Okay, you click OK. And you basically clone this up so that you don't need to do all the setup again. And yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Now you're just changing different information. So yeah, let's put the ID again. And right now, you delete this. You put this to open. And you're actually going to put this due date. Actually, you're, you're actually going to fill this information now. Send date, that's going to be this date of now. The due date is going to be the date. Due date, here is a due date. And pay dates, we're not going to fill this out because we're sending this. This happens when you send it. Okay, the fees, uh, application fee, invoice total. This is the amount to do, okay? You click OK and you have this set up already. Voided invoice, uh, this is just basically gonna be, uh, you know, pay the now, no. Invoice status is gonna be void, which basically means the invoice failed. So it, it didn't go through. Okay, so the due date, uh, send date, pay date is gonna be not a date because it wasn't paid, never, okay? So yeah, you set this up, you click OK, and we got almost everything set up. We just need to set up the Slack modules if you want. And we want to notify the team when the invoice is paid and when it has actually voided, right? Because we want the team to, you know, contact them directly when it's paid and, you know, contact them directly when it's voided. Maybe give them a call, you know, to see what's up. So yeah, um, let's enter manually and, or... You know, you can select your ch channel. This is pretty much customizable, so I'm not going to go through the Slack module. You can set this up yourself. But yeah, just set, se select the Slack uh, channel you want. And you you can basically, you know, set up to a general channel, you know, um, customer. Customer and just select, you know, the name of the customer. Nina Patel. Failed invoice, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, okay, this is just an example so you know the what's possible with this, and you can set this up here as well. You just it's just an example so the automation can run. So, yeah, um, this is pretty much it as of make.com. Now it's time to test the automation out and it should work perfectly when you test it. So once you create your customer, which we already did, it, once you create your customer, we're going to test out if it actually generates an invoice. Okay. So let's create an invoice for this customer named Alex G, which is okay. This is key. This already has to be on your CRM. Okay. And the customer ID needs to match this one. You create an invoice and it's probably going to appear over here, right? Yeah, it appeared. As easy as that, our automation works, okay? 
And as you can see, it's all linked together. Tesla company, uh, it's all linked together. Okay. And now what we only need to do is we, you know, send this invoice, you know, for $500, let's say. Okay. Once we send this invoice, send the invoice. It's open, okay. Once the invoice is open, it's over here. You know, invoice total is here. The fees are zero, so the total amount of profit is going to be five hundred dollars. But yeah, as you can see, this works, and you can just uh, you know change invoice status to or void whatever you want to test out uh, update status. And as I, as I said before, you can always test this out on the Stripe. You know, test uh, test mode. It's pretty useful for developers if you're trying to build a cool stuff like this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. How you set up this invoice uh, management workflow, which is pretty useful, especially when you're managing uh, a lot of invoices constantly and stuff like that. And we can go more complex. You can send this invoice um, invoice workflow to to be activated when an invoice is open, so your sales team. Can know if it's open if in it, and if it's not paid so that they can go over and reach out to the client to see what ha what's happening there's a lot of opportunity with this i just wanted to keep it super simple and you know get to, to understand the basics of how this workflow actually works so yeah, that was pretty much it for today's tutorial hey everyone thanks for watching this video till the end i hope you find a lot of value in it if you did just make sure to leave a comment and like subscribe activate the bell because i'll be posting a lot of content like this in the next following weeks and if you're a business trying to implement systems like this make sure to book a call down below we'll talk about it we'll see what we can do and we'll see how we can save you an enormous amount of time and energy inside your business so you, we can leverage systems like this to, you know, elevate a bunch of profit and, you know, multiply your output on your business. Okay. So yeah, if you're interested in that book, a call down below and that's pretty much it for today's video guys. Thank you for watching to the end. I hope you found a lot of value and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.